Hello, hello. How are we doing today? Lori from Art Lore. Uh, today we're going to do a 15 by 30, and it's a gallery wrap from Michaels. And we're going to do five blooms, and I'm not going to do them all the same color, and they're not going to be all down the center like I normally do. And um, kind of some fun colors. They're just going to be, you know, random normal colors that I hope pair well. Uh, this is yellow ochre. But what I did was I added the golden uh, iridescent pearl fine to it and made it uh, a little bit shimmery. So I think that's going to be really, really pretty. Uh, this one here is um, Van Dyke Brown, but I added um, a little bit of black to it to give it um, more gray because Van Dyke Brown tends to pull gray anyway. So I thought, eh, I don't know. I thought these two would be kind of fun together, the gray and the yellow. I thought that would be really pretty. I don't even know if I'm putting this color in there or not. Um, this is a green, and I don't remember what green it is, but I also added the uh, golden uh, iridescent pearl fine to that to give it a little bit of a shimmer also because I'm not doing gold today. I'm going to let these two colors, the yellow and the green, be my shimmer. And then this is Bordeaux. Uh, not a whole lot of Bordeaux, mostly white with Bordeaux, and that is from Arteza. Um, the ochre is Liquitex. This one here uh, also is my shimmer, and it's white. And then I just use the Artist Loft White. Nothing, you know, um, not the titanium. I didn't add any of that in there. I added the pearl, um, the iridescent pearl fine in this also to give this a shimmer. So these are my three shimmers. I've got the yellow, the ochre, the green, and then this white. And I thought, I don't know, I'm just going to try it and do some different, um, so that they're all different kind of colors going on together. And we'll see what happens. Get you in focus there, and you are. Okay, so, oh, I gotta take off my conductor, off my dryer here, sorry, I had that tape on there. Because actually it doesn't fit, it doesn't belong to this dryer, but I like it because the nozzle where the air comes out is a little more narrow. And um, I did a, a Dutch pour. So let's start uh, here and here. I'm gonna do one in the center and then maybe a couple on the side and maybe one in each corner, I don't know. We'll see, but it's going to be relatively bloom over bloom over bloom and then we're going to spin it out and see what happens. So let's do this one first. I think what I'm going to do is you know, I take that back. I think I'm going to do the gray first. And the gray and the yellow. I think that'll be really pretty right here. We'll do a yellow one here. And then my gray. You know, I think I lied. I think I lied. I think I want to add some gold. I just don't feel comfortable in not having any gold. I don't know. I just love gold. I love the gold. This one here is the Amsterdam gold. So we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, we're just going to do it. A little bit of gold right there. And I hope this works because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I may have not mixed that correctly. But we'll see. Okay, and then here is my cell activator. And I made it up fresh. Three to one, Aussie Flow. 
and Oxide Black by Amsterdam. Okay, here we go, noise. Okay, I like that. Um, let's do this one again, um, right about here. And I'm going to do, I think, a pink one in the center. So let's do another one here. We'll do the gray. It's a pretty gray. And my oxide, my shimmery oxide. And we'll see how this works out. Because um, I think I reversed the colors, but I don't care. I'm just, just want this all to be random. And we're going to put the gold right there. A little bit more cell activator there. Okay, here we go. like this one better than this one but I think it'll be okay once we spin so hopefully the cells will pop up here they're coming in quite nicely around the center uh, not so much in the center but let's let's give it some hope okay um, okay so we're going to do a pink one now in the center and right here And then we're going to do the white. And hopefully the gold will incorporate okay with this white and neither one will get lost. So. This Amsterdam gold is very, very thick and I didn't know that. And I just blopped it in to the pouring medium, and I feel like I put way too much. And I don't want to keep thinning and thinning and thinning and thinning it out because then it just doesn't end up dry. The dried results don't end up very well. Okay, here we go.
There, just breaking up that demarcation line there. Okay, so now let's do some green. You know what? I'm going to give this a little shot in the center. It is um, selling up, but it's just taking its darn old sweet time. Okay, so now I think I want to do the green on the outside right here um, because that might look fun. Maybe one here and one there. Um, so it kind of looks like maybe some leaves or something. So let's just do one right here. And I think I'm going to do the green and the yellow. I don't think I need really any gold in there. Um, or maybe I should, just for fun. Yeah, why not? Okay. All right, here we go. okay I think I might just do another green green here all by itself and then just green and cell activator and that's it let's just see what happens I think for over here, I'll do the opposite. I'll do the yellow and the gold here and the green there. So they kind of balance each other out so they're not mirroring each other. And we may call it good. I don't know if I'm going to put anything else here. I would like this to all come off the edges. So let's do that. Let's do, um, let's see. I don't remember what color I started with over there. Um, I guess we'll start with green and then we'll add the yellow. And of course the gold. A little bit of a drizzle. Okay. Here we go.
right, so now, right here, just the green one. A lot of this will come off anyway when we spin, but the corner will have a little bit of a green uh, color in there, and that will just give it an appearance, hopefully, of a little bit of a leaf effect. We'll see. I have no clue. So now, I don't know. I think it, I think there's quite a bit going on here. I don't think I really need any more going on. Um, I think I want to just pull that in a little bit. Pull this in. Pull that in a little bit, and this as well. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It is selling up, it's just taking its sweet time. So, you know what? Let's um, let's fill up here. Let these pop up. It might take a little bit, but they're selling up nice. So let's give it a couple of minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And I just wanted to give you um, a view of the cell formation. And this is waiting a good solid five minutes. I generally don't do that. Um, I'm too anxious to spin, but the cell formation came out so pretty. Um, I wished I was a little bit more, you know, um, consistent with getting the cells all the way around, but I think my pillow was too thin in that spot. Um, so I got to work on that. That one turned out a little bit better. Um, the center one doesn't nearly have as much cell formation going on, but I, I'm going to leave that. Um, I want to just see what happens. And then I got to hold my shirt. And then up there, again, great cell action. Now, I want to just show you one more thing. Um, I didn't put paint right there because someone on one of the Facebook sites, and I'm so sorry, I cannot give the person credit, they posted this. Do you see um, how I did this? I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but I am telling you, it's a whole game changer with pouring, especially in that one spot. And I wanna show you how the paint comes out. You just uh, do this in a V with your painter's tape. And oh my gosh, it does not dribble as bad and leave a gunky spot all around the edge of the can opening. So let me get you back in here and get you in focus. There you are. And I'm going to turn this right about there so you can see it. And I'll just pour it out so you can see how it comes out. I hope you can see this. Um, you have way more control. It just, it pours out really small. And if you wanna tip it, you tip it and then you get more paint obviously, um, but you have way more control in uh, delicate areas where you don't want to glug your paint out. Of course, that's me. I glug things. I don't, I'm not very gentle when I, when I do this kind of stuff on the edges here. And um, yeah, so there you have it. And then when it comes back up, 
you only have just that little tiny bit. So just, just wanted to share that with you guys. You probably already know, um, but I didn't, and I thought it was pretty cool. So let me just dab that over the edge a little bit there and right there. Okay, so let me make sure you're in focus because I'm always terrified that you're not. And you are. So let's spin. Uh, let's see. We'll just go. We'll just do that. We're going to go this way. I put all my paints away, cleaned off all my little spoons, cleaned up my area while the cells were coming to the center. And um, yeah, it worked. So let's just see what we have here with this spin. Okay, we still have a little bit of green in the corners, which is fun. Um, I do want this and this. This one's coming over the edge, but I do want this to kind of come over the edge a little bit more. So I think I'm going to slide this this way a little bit, and then we're going to go this way with it. I think that would be the way I would want to go because it would be pulling it this in this direction. And I feel like it is coming slowly. I hope I don't lose too much of the green. Yeah, it is coming slow but sure. Um, I think as long as I'm here, I'm going to add some paint right here so this has something to continue to flow over the edge with. It's not too bad. I, I feel like um, when I was pouring that paint out, because it doesn't glug out, now I've got to um, monitor myself and make sure that I add enough paint. I feel like my pillow, <clears throat> excuse me, might have been just, just a scant thin. Um, not thin in consistency, but thin in depth on the canvas. But I'm still getting great results, so that's all I care about. But I could have used, I think I still could have used a little bit more paint. Okay, let's check over here. And that one is covered. Yay. This one is not. And we will get it covered. There we go. Right there. And this side looks great. I might as well just do that as long as I'm at it. Oh, good thing I looked. Because we have one that is completely not covered. Let's put that right there. Okay, let's give it another spin. Clean off my spoon. Okay, so I want to continue with it this way. I just saw something that I don't like. So I think I'm going to stop it right now because I don't know where to go. Um, oh, right here. There, that's better. I didn't like that sharp line right there. Okay, so where was I? Uh, this way. It's a little bit fast. Slow down. Okay, I can see some of the pink. It's reaching the edge there, which is what I want. And the gold and uh, gray one, the gold, the yellow ochre and the gray one is reaching the edge, which is what I want. I'm losing a little bit of green, but that's okay. There's still a little bit in the corner up there and some down here, which is wonderful. 
Um, I'm not minding this negative space. I don't mind that, but I do want this to come a little bit more, just a little bit more. Okay, so um, hold on. See a bubble. There we go. Um, that didn't turn out bad, even though it didn't have as much um, cell action going on as the rest. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of fun. If I could just get this over the edge, that would be great. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of move this a little bit. And then I can pull this forward without getting so much paint everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to pull this forward. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. And hopefully that will start to come off. Yes, it's coming. Ooh, that makes me dizzy. A little bit more, a little bit more. Let's see what we have. That's way better. That came off. This came off. That could come off, but I just don't know if I really want to spin too much more because I'm losing all my green. Um, I've got a little bit of green left in that corner and some up here, which is quite fun. Um, I would like this to come off though because I don't like that line right here. I like the line, but I don't like how it's just so close to the edge that you're seeing a line and then the white. So that needs to just kind of come over just a teeny bit more. So let's get rid of this. I'll be so glad when I um, have time. I got my new Fluid Art Co. Um, pad. I don't know. It's not a pad. It's um, the mat. It's the mat for my tabletop. And then I can take off my black uh, plastic. I'm going to have to find out if I can cut it. So if anybody knows if you can cut it, because my table is 48 by 48 and their pad, their mat is 48 by 60. So it's going to have to get cut and then I have to piece it. So um, Yes, I don't know if I can just cut it with scissors or if it needs to be done with an X-Acto knife. I'm going to have to find that out. Okay, real quick, little spin just to get that over the edge. And it did it. Yay! Get your hand away from the canvas. Yay, and you can see we still have a lot of paint because you can see where the line is. So that's good that we did that one last time there. Um, I love it. I think it's beautiful, especially with that pink bloom in the center. Um, I don't know, what do you think if I should get this off the edge? I'm just not sure. Hmm. I'm pondering and thinking, pondering and thinking, 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 thinking. Ay, 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 I don't know. Um, I'm almost thinking that I want to bring it over this way and spin it one more time. However, now that I'm looking at it here, there's a little bit of negative space with this bloom and a little bit here with this bloom. So they do kind of work together. So I think I'm going to leave it. But I am telling you, this bloom with the gray and the yellow ochre with that pearl um, 
the iridescent pearl fine in there. Holy guacamole. That is so pretty. That combination is gorgeous. And then, of course, the gold, the Amsterdam gold, because I put that in there. I'm really glad I added that gold. Okay, so, oh, let me just take a little dipper rooney here and see. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, I'm going to bring you down and have you take a peek at the finished results because it is really, really pretty. Oh, there's the snap and my finger, sorry. Okay. Can you see the shimmer? The, the You can see the gold right in there and then all of the yellow ochre um, going in and out, weaving in and out. It paired very well. They married together quite well. They didn't fight against each other at all. There's my green leaves, my abstract leaves. And there's that lovely pink bloom in the center, which I'm madly in love with. And I love the center. I don't care that it didn't sell up that much. And I can't lean too far. I know I'm short. And there's the other gray and yellow ochre with the gold. And there's my little baby green leaf up in the corner. Yay, awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great time. This was fun. It was a fun experiment. Random colors, random layering, five blooms, 15 by 30. It's wonderful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me again and let's making a mess. And give me a like and a subscribe. That would be awesome. And leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Until next time. Bye.